On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the Jack Atlas conversion kit for the AMR9, which turns this SMG to a five round burst carbine. Let's go test it out. This is now our second aftermarket part that we've gotten for the AMR9. The first one we got was the double barrel version of it that wasn't very good when it came out, but I think recently it's done better and I might go and recheck that one later. But this one, like I mentioned in the intro, is a five round burst. So each shot I'm doing, each click is five bullets coming out of this. And I wonder if after Pack-A-Punch, we'll get even more than five rounds on a burst. So let's go ahead and upgrade it, Pack-A-Punch it. And looks like it's still the same amount coming out of the gun. And right now I'm kind of torn because with today's update, it looks like they made it so you can only do the new side Easter egg in tier three, where you get a legendary Aether tool and a tier three pack crystal once per game. Like only one person can do it. So I'm torn between like going to tier two and getting like doing some bounties, getting some self revives because I always go down and end up losing them going straight to tier three. But also I kind of want to be greedy and try to get some rewards before everyone else takes them. So I'm going to try one. If I go down, I will leave. And we can see how this thing does in tier three right away. Looks like somebody's truck's already here. Let's try to beat him to the punch. Throw a quick decoy. Oh, this is already activated. Somebody's already doing it. What about the one down here? Somebody already doing this one? Yup. And now it's a, a mad dash to the very last one. <gasps> I don't think it's been touched yet. This is our time. Let's shoot these. Ooh, looks like it's a two-shot kill against a normal tier three zombie with no armor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop some perks here. I'm not going to use our mag of holding just yet because I want to see how this does reload wise. So far, the reload's not bad. Let's try it again. Quick reload. It is very quick, but we can test it out a little bit more once we get this activated. I think the worst part about this change to the Easter egg, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I think it makes it harder for the people that don't have the new Aether unlocked or open to actually get their relics upgraded. And I'm hoping they revert this change because it was nice just to be able to hop in, you know, get like some of the rarest items in the game or like some of the, the most needed items in the game kind of took a little bit of pressure off of like tier three and like everybody needing to do contracts here but it also at the same time brought more people to tier three to do the side easter egg and people were more prepared to do tier three contracts but i don't know i, I felt like i rarely got legendary aether tools from normal like rift rewards so it was nice being able to hop in here and get them whenever i wanted and it doesn't look like i'm doing a whole lot of damage right now so i'm throwing on some dead shot i'm gonna throw a decoy I'm going to try to take some of these zombies out because there is a lot of them in this rift right now. And I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage. This being legendary pack three kind of feels weak right now. We are getting some assistance. This is actually so tough. I feel like we haven't really even gotten that many kills for this. One thing I will say that's good about this update is that this counts for everybody. Like any kills that happen here, go towards the, the soul box regardless. And since he helped us out here, I let him join in. I don't know if he got the reward. I don't know if I accepted it fast enough, but I hope he did get the reward. Oh, well, we finally got these. But so far, I'm, I'm not very impressed with this weapon. Doesn't seem the greatest. Oh, shit. We got cornered. Like I said, if I go down, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to Aether Shroud, buy back a Self Revive. And without all the chaos, how's this doing against some tier three zombies? Uh, I guess like if you're just focusing headshots, it's not terrible. But still, against like a whole horde of zombies like this, it's not really going through them like you'd think. Now let's try with our mag of holding. So now that the reload won't stop us, even though the reload wasn't that bad to start with, we're still got we're, we're still getting messed up a little bit. And I'm getting out of here because that was my last self revive. What's the spray pattern looking like for this? From back here, looks like it's pretty tight together. Because I was thinking maybe I'm not hitting all headshots. Like maybe the zombies are far enough away. So where like some shots are going over their head or maybe I'm hitting like a few chest shots instead of hitting them in the crit. It don't look like it's that far back. Maybe aim like slightly lower, but I'm officially putting this weapon on fraud watch. Let's see how this does against a tier two HVT. All right, how are we doing against this mangler's armor? We broke the helmet immediately. That's pretty good. Down to half health pretty fast and killed them pretty quick. This might be one of those weapons where it's like it, it flourishes in tier two and tier one. But then you go to tier three in the big leagues and it just sucks. I don't know how there's like such a steep drop off. It's like things like the storm ender where that thing pack a punched in like tier one is an insta kill. You don't even have to think and you just shoot, but use it anywhere else and it's garbage. Maybe we just got to get used to the weapon. Let's try another bounty. What are we getting here? A disciple. How fast can we take down this tanky bastard? Can we break his mask quickly? We can. Yeah, like this does insane damage. 
in tier two. I don't know what's going on in tier three. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Look how packed tier three is. Holy shit. That is a lot of people. They really just need to expand tier three, have it spread, but I think we're, we're ready for it. We're ready to, to throw down in tier three. I just need to get the rest of my perks. So let me grab these. We still got a little bit of money left over. Let's go get another self revive because I know I'm going to need it. Oh wait, there's a bounty right over here. Are we fast enough to grab it? We have the speed. I think we do. Give me that. Oh shit, I didn't even realize this is a mega abomination we have to fight. I think we got a shop right here. Let me grab a little insurance policy. Let's get to work. Come here, buddy. What's this doing against you? Start off with your, your patented laser. Zombie, stay back. There's the laser we're looking for. Can we break a face? We can, barely, without going down. Let's Aether Shroud. Get him to calm down a bit. And we run. Any armor on the ground. I will right, we'll be needing that. Disciple, we definitely don't need you here. I do not need you healing this abomination. Oh, and he's shooting out a laser. We have to try to shoot him here. Use the zombies as cover. Did we break another face? Oh, we might have. Oh, no, we didn't even break it. Why did he stop shooting? We just broke it right there. He must have just got tired. Bro used hyper beam. Had to recharge. Here comes another one. Let's get our damage in while we can. So far, it's not like terrible against the Mega Abomination. We're taking them down in a, you know, a pretty reasonable amount of time. We haven't been fighting them for too long. It hasn't been like a, a big struggle. And maybe I wasn't focusing as much uh, on headshots earlier. I just take my time and shoot these guys. It ain't too bad. Maybe it was the hit fire that wasn't really landing. Zaman down sights. Like his health's going down a little bit for each burst, but the amount of times we can burst or like the, the rate that we can burst ain't too bad. This is probably faster than most burst fire weapons. It almost feels like full auto. You shoot another laser. Let's try to end it right here. There we go. Zombies. Thanks for coming. I'm going to need you guys to fuck off. What do we get from that? Not a whole lot. Who could have guessed it? And I'm going to hang around right here for a second because they're about to spawn, spawn a bounty right here. Please, please. Yep. Look at me. Nostra dumbass. And it's another abomination. Lucky him. What's up, bitch? I've already taken one of you out. I know what to expect from this fight. We got one face broken. He didn't even flinch at it. His face got broken. He immediately rushed me. Usually there's like a, a stagger period. He sits there and comp... Comp... I can't even fucking speak. Contemplates even fighting me. There we go. Found it. Here comes another laser. Mess him up. Oh. All right. You can get one down. That seems fair. Why was that zombie hitting me while I was down? That, that don't seem fair. There's another face gone. And this should be your last laser. Actually, I don't think so. He's got a little bit too much health for us to take him out here. Got a good amount of damage on him, though. I wonder, even though this isn't an SMG anymore, if it still has, like, the properties of SMG where it's going to do better close range damage. Or the damage falls off at range quite a bit. But either way, he should be dead. There we go. And this is probably a long shot, but let's go see if the Stormcaller is still alive. All right, Stormcaller, are you here? You still with us? There's a good amount of zombies. I would think he's still here. There he is. Let's go, dude. One of the rare times he's actually still in the game, still alive. But can we break his mask? Yes, we can. We got him stunned in this spot right here, and it's not doing like an insane amount of damage, but this is definitely doable. We can take we, we can take him out. And we're taking out the zombies in here pretty easily, too. I really want to grab that insta-kill, but I want to see what this can do without it. We got a third of his health gone already. That ain't too terrible. Okay, I, I'm taking this off fraud watch. It just might be like a normal weapon. Nothing insane about it, but it seems serviceable. We got him to half health pretty quickly. Yeah, I think if you can just land multiple crits on anything with this... The, the damage will stack up because this ain't bad. I would definitely recommend playing a little closer with it, though. It does seem like it falls off at range quite a bit, even though it has like a, a caliber upgrade. I think this has like five, five, six rounds. Now I'm going to act like I know what that is outside of like fucking PUBG. But I know that goes for ARs most of the time. I can't wait to see how this does in the Dark Aether, if we can actually make something happen with it. Our gas mask did break, so we can't kill him fast enough for a normal gas mask. I did not have a durable, but he is very low. And this should do it right here. Stop healing so I can kill you. Oh, he healed just enough. One thing I don't like about these burst weapons, though, is that, yeah, you can shoot it faster the faster you tap, but I hate just constantly tapping. I feel like I'm going to get, like, repetitive input syndrome or whatever the hell it's called. That's the, that's the gamer term for it. My hand's just going to start cramping. But now you're dead. Time for you to die. 
You've been holding on too long. Night, night time. There we go. And give me your skull. All right, let's get out of here before we choke to death. You know what? I'd say this gun's pretty all right because we've already taken out two HVT of bombs and the storm caller, and there's still like close to 20 minutes left in the game. There's been a good amount of times where we come in here with a new weapon and try to do all those things and not had enough time to go back to tier three and grind. Or we sat there and fought the storm caller for half the game because he just keeps healing back up. But this is doing its job. It's doing its thing. I appreciate that. And we're going to trade in the storm caller skull for a durable gas mask. And while we're waiting for some contracts to free up, I'm going to do something I'm probably going to regret later, but let's try to clear out a stronghold here. Let's hope that I don't break my gas mask in here because it would suck to have to buy another one. But let's also see if there's any goodies lying around. My track record with these is telling me that there's probably not going to be anything good in here, but might as well check. Um, that's a lot of zombies right in front of me. Shatter blast, do your thing. Oh, uh, we still don't have them all yet. There's the last ones in here. Aether Shroud. Got it. Okay, we did it without breaking our gas mask. Look at us being efficient and shit. There's a lot of zombies up here, though. I don't think they know I'm here. I'll take that all day. Especially if they're gonna let me loot. What's in here? I look like a whole lot. I'm just gonna slowly walk past you and continue looting. I appreciate the hospitality, gentlemen. Let's do one more bounty that we can make our way into the Dark Aether. What's going on, Mimic? Why don't we take this outside? Come on out here so we can have a chat. Real quick decoy, because there is like 800 zombies right here. Are we even doing that much damage to this Mimic? Oh yeah, that's not bad. Not terrible. Mimics are always like the scary ones to go against, because they're like surprisingly fast, and then grabbing you and Instantly breaking your armor is so dangerous, especially around this kind of horde of zombies. So let's Aether Shroud. He's still going to attack us through the Aether Shroud because he's a dick. But it don't matter because he's basically dead. Night, night, pal. Sleep tight. Don't let the Aether Worms bite. Dude, ass loot all day. The Dark Aether better be better to me. All right, Elder. Here we come. Okay, this Dark Aether has not been the kindest to me, especially in the Elder variety. But we're still going to get it done. And start Dancing Tree. Yeah, there's our boy right on cue. You killed it, by the way. And it's that time in the Dark Aether where we're going to have to struggle through this escort. Give me my power up. And let's go. Get down here, ACV. I'm starting it immediately. Bars. I got to remember not to hip fire as much with this. Doesn't seem to be the most accurate hip firing. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. And that Disciple's got a nuke in him. So does this Mimic. Did the Mimic get tall for a second there? Oh, nice. We got another Mimic inside my ACV. Awesome. I love when that happens. We got this down to 50% immediately. That is fucked up. That's beyond fucked up. Damn, the Mimic's going in. He's been training on his punches. Those are fast as fuck. And we still didn't get a nuke drop. I have to use another fucking cashmere. We're down to 20%, not even at the first stop. There's the nuke. Holy shit, dude. They are not playing around. Why does this always happen? Where some bullshit goes on to stop me from getting this shit done. Oh, this is so chalked. I'm going to stop using my cashmeres. We got to save these for, for something better. Because it's over. At least we got our passive. That's like the best thing from starting this contract. It's barely even alive. We're so screwed. 5% health. If I can pull this off, I need to be signed immediately to some professional zombie group. I don't even know if that's a thing. Especially for this game. Oh yeah, it's toast. It's over. It's Jover. Well, at least we got more time to fight our bounty and do our outlast. We got the forbidden wall buy over here. I wonder if even if you fail one of the contracts, if you can still do the boss fight after. Like, does the spore still open up? Like, just all contracts need to be, like, picked up and done? Because that could be a strat for trying to fight the boss in an Elder Sigil. Because then you can just go speed run grabbing and canceling the contracts and then go fight the boss. I guess we'll, we'll find out after this after these messages activate this grab that keep it moving and we're right on his ass break break there we go oh fuck me mimic i actually don't do that that was merely an expression i don't want no mimic dick let's monkey bomb to get a majority of the horde away from me i need you to die so i can get that nuke holy shit there's a lot of zombies they are not making this easy on me actually yeah laser them fuck them up what is this 
Bubble points, I'll take it. Why not? The help with my schematic cooldowns. There's our mimic. And we just need to somehow get over there. It is being camped. They're camping my power up. I'm just getting bounced around by these manglers too. Jeez. They're gangbanging the fuck out of me. There is another elite over here that's got a nuke in them. We just need to combo the nukes. Oh, never mind. I'm getting comboed. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least eight manglers out here. And that's about to change. All of them are gone. Oh, what am I on? The crystal? Jesse Pinkman be like? Mr. White. We gotta kill the mega abomination, Mr. White. That way we can get out of the dark aether. I went Boston there. My accents aren't that, uh... Aren't that concise. That's definitely not the right word for it. You can tell my brain power is fully on this fight. Oh, and now everything's starting to spawn back in. Here's what you're gonna do, Walter. You're gonna throw the cashmere and suck up all the zombies. And then you're gonna shoot this motherfucker right in his, his glowing mouth. God damn it. Aether shot, haha. Where'd I go, bitch? Can't find me. I'm unfindable. Dude, this is a clusterfuck. And it's so close to dying. Please just let me kill you, dude. This has gotta be it. End them right here. Let's go. That's not gonna kill everything here somehow. We're gonna have to cashmere if we wanna get our loot. There we go. Cashmere go crazy. Never mind. Still going down. Awesome. Ooh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. And I will take this. I will go down again. I'm just trying to clear inventory space is really what I'm doing here. That's just the strat. You guys want to understand. Oh, double nuke. Bam, bam. Oh, we got a monkey bomb out of it. Trying to cashmere to a monkey bomb in one easy stop. This guy died and he's still not giving me the nuke. Maybe they don't drop nukes if they're killed by a nuke. That makes sense. Maybe you're not just getting like constant nuke combos would be sweet and if you're really looking to get like mangler kills done or elite kills done and you don't want to just sit at an x fill you can get them all done within a few seconds here if you got a strong enough gun a okay, quick decoy i don't know where that landed but it's gonna have to work let me out of the corner no one puts baby in a corner i gotta throw the monkey bomb so i can grab the the numb foot i will activate this while the monkey bomb's going Nope, let go of me, you big bitch. Give me the foot. What's over here, a nuke? Oh, damn time. Oh, this is fucked up. Someone put an aether crystal in the, the handicap parking spot. Out of all the spots. This has got to be one of my, my favorite ones to do in this dark aether. My favorite contract. It's very chaotic. You get an insane amount of zombies here. And it's not that difficult, but it, it gives you a good amount of challenge. It's doable. Doable with almost any gun. Holy shit, and they're not even letting me back in. I gotta say how like fun and easy it is as I'm getting my ass beat. Let me through. You're gonna pull me through the crystal and bite me all slow and sensual? Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the fucking crystal. Let me out. 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 I thought they fixed this. It literally said in the patch notes they fixed it. Oh, fuck me, dude. We completed the contract. I can't even self-revive. I can't self-revive here. Oh, bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Let me out. Let me out. Bro, show the patch notes right now. Look at that. Fixed mimics throwing people onto the map? I think not. They threw me into the handicap spot. Whatever that means, sledgehammer. You fucks. I'm spamming F. What if I do this? Nope, that don't work. Um, is there anything I can do? That's stupid. I know I have more self-revives than this too. Let me use it. No, nope, we'll just die. I'll just lose all my shit. Okay. I guess we won't ever see if we could fight that boss with uh, not completing the contract. That's dumb. I missed out on a lot of XP there too. Well, I guess I, I have no choice but to go ahead and end it there. Overall, this gun, it's, it's good. It's serviceable. It's decent. You know, it's not going to be anything crazy over the top. It doesn't have any special like pack-a-punch abilities, at least not that I know of, but you can use it. I think it's probably better than the base AMR-9. Like it does as good as it can. And its crit damage seems nice. It doesn't take down bosses like insanely fast, but it can take them down in like a reasonable amount of time. I would say it's like average, maybe slightly above average as a weapon. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.